One of the hot topics today has to do with climate change. And one of the key questions is how much of this climate change is human cause and to what extent? Dr. Kevin Birdwell is a Christian and a climatologist. How can you explain what you see in the data? Well, this is a very complex issue and there are multiple uh, factors that are influencing the climate, some of them natural, some of them human induced, and even some that uh, work in both categories. You know, like for example, um, different things in, in nature release carbon dioxide, but also the burning of fossil fuels. So a lot of times it's difficult to separate out exactly what part is human caused and what part is not human caused. Um, but we can say, if, I think, a few things about the issue. Another thing to consider as you're trying to answer this question is that we're dealing with somewhat incomplete data because even though our data collection techniques, say for surface temperatures or ocean temperatures or satellite data, has improved dramatically in recent decades, the really good data is really only for the last anywhere from 10 to 30, 40 years. And so trying to go back in time and say what's happened over the last century, that makes that more, more challenging. But despite that, I think we can say that there has been a warming since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution of something like eight-tenths of a degree Celsius, maybe up to a degree Celsius. So the question then comes in, okay, is there a way to figure out what part is what? Is it natural? Is it human? Is it both? A lot of natural uh, variations are over time scales that are longer than what we're talking about here. So we probably don't need to worry about those too much. But the ones that uh, are, say, a little bit shorter time scale, like uh, multi-decadal scales, those, those are worth considering. And that would be things like the Pacific Decadal Oscillation, or PDO, or the AMO, which is the Atlantic Multi-Decadal Oscillation. These are changes in sea surface temperature. So uh, those probably at the most would be on a scale of plus or minus uh, four or five tenths of a degree Celsius. Um, and you could throw El Nino in there as well. That's, that's, a, that's a, a similar type of oscillation, but it's more on a, uh, you know, a, a, almost an annual to a, a five-year scale. But uh, yet we have seen a little bit more warming than that. So probably you're going to say that 50% or more of the recent warming, uh, and especially since the 1970s, could probably have a human footprint on it. Uh, however, there is one more point to make on that, and that is, you know, a lot of the focus today is often on greenhouse gases. And greenhouse gases do warm the atmosphere. We, we know that. That's, there's a physical basis for that. However, uh, there's, there's really a variety of human factors that seem to have been influencing the climate, especially in the last 40 years. Now, we may see more influence from greenhouse gases going forward, but I would say that what we have seen in recent decades uh, probably has a significant influence from other human factors such as changes in land cover use uh, which can affect temperatures up to two or three degrees Celsius in many cases, uh, changes in urban heat islands, urban heat, heat islands uh, for smaller cities can increase your temperature one or two degrees Celsius but in extreme cases uh, say like for a large city like Tokyo Japan, it might be more than 10 degrees Celsius. Carbon soot deposition. Um, even other effects of greenhouse gases that, that don't really involve direct warming of the atmosphere have been a factor, such as when carbon dioxide uh, interferes with the uh, uh, radiational cooling of the ground at night, and that means your minimum temperature is not going to be as much. As, as it is, it's going to be a little higher than it was. I've seen that effect in some of the data that I've looked at. So there's a there's a really a large variety of factors. And so so while I would say yes, probably the warming in the last 40 or 50 years is at least 50 percent or more human induced. It's really from a variety of factors, and I think we need to be careful not to just focus on greenhouse gases.